I was sent a mystery box containing some sort of toy that was gifted to me by Big Redheads Vintage Toys down in Tampa, Florida. What's in the box? Well, we're gonna find out in this video today as well as take a look at a few other vintage pieces recently added to my collection, so stick around. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today I thought it would be fun to do, I guess we're gonna call this a haul video, a toy haul video, because I've got a few items that I wanted to show off in this video that didn't really make the cut for some of my toy hunting episodes, or they're related to my toy hunting episodes. And I'm also gonna use this as an opportunity to say, hey, did you know that I just launched a second channel here on YouTube that is specifically for my toy hunting series? Well, it's true. You can now head over to Pixel Dan Toy Hunts and every Saturday there will be a brand new episode of Toy Hunting with Pixel Dan. It's one of those things I've been trying to decide if I was gonna do this for a long time, but I really think moving that series off onto its own channel is a smart move specifically for the almighty algorithm here so it doesn't get confused with the toy reviews. So toy reviews and my convention coverage stays right here on the main Pixel Dan channel. But if you're into the toy hunts, specifically if you're into the vintage toys, mom and pop toy shops, all that cool stuff, you need to go over and subscribe to the other channel as well. All right, I got the plug out of the way. Now let's talk about some of these new toys I've recently added to my collection. So in the first episode on that new channel, weird how I can slip that right in again, uh, I visited a store that you are probably familiar with called Toy Federation. It's located in Greer, South Carolina. It's one of my favorite toy shops in the country. I've been there a few times already and I had an amazing time digging through the back room the last time I was there. Ryan and his staff are all excellent people. And there's a lot of cool stuff there. Now, while I was at that store, one of the pieces of content that didn't make the cut of that episode was me and one of the employees named Travis talking about a figure that I was really interested in. And we go into this kind of amazing back and forth where neither of us can remember the name of the toy line. Let's just go ahead and cut to that clip. Dang, I've never, I never see these guys with their accessories. Look at that shield. What is it? That is awesome. I don't know the name of this toy line. Yeah. These are the ones, I just see these all the time, but it's always just the loose figures. Actually, I don't see this guy as often. Something like Warriors of the Realm. Or yeah. Mm. Like it's Soma. Is this head glued on or something? Or is it, it looks like it's, this is a, uh, this shield is sweet. Yeah, it's, it's just. Oh, it's just the way the plastic is. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, okay. That's cool. That definitely looks like Soma. That's really cool. Aqua Stratos. Yeah. Aqua Stratos. <laughs> it's, like, it's like merging them together. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's Iron Mask. Stratos of the sea. Uh, but I couldn't find Iron any. Mask is his name? I swear it was fantasy. That's what you said to me. Uh, world Iron Mask. Fantasy. Oh, that's the line. Fantasy World. They had that cursive writing on it. But none sold. 83. One, and one guy's selling one just with this. But nobody, not that. Alright. I'll give you $5. Five. <laughs> <laughs> that that's right, the line is called Fantasy World. It was released by Soma Toys in 1983, and it's one of those toy lines that you could call a Masters of the Universe knockoff. There was a lot of toy lines that were done in a very similar swords and sorcery style as Masters of the Universe with very similar 5.5 inch scale figure builds. Uh, Iron Mask is the name of the figure, and I loved this one in particular. I've seen this figure a bunch while toy hunting, but I don't ever come across these guys with their accessories. And this guy had his accessories. Now, I ended up not buying him that day, but 
my good friend Matt, who actually does a lot of behind the scenes work here on this channel. He's also the guy behind the Toy Federation channel. So massive shout out to my friend Matt. He actually sent me a Christmas present and I felt it only right to share that Christmas present here in this video that's being posted in March. <laughs> he bought me that Iron Mask figure from the Fantasy World toy line. Uh, and this was such a really cool surprise. I love that he remembered that we were having that discussion because he was right there, you know, filming us while we were talking about it. And, you know, the thought of picking this up and then and gifting it to me since I didn't buy it that day is just so incredibly cool. And I really, really appreciate that. Now look at this figure. Very, very cool toy. Like I said, the Soma figures are certainly done in the style of Masters of the Universe. You can see that they are right around at that five and a half inch scale, though the builds are slightly different. You can tell that they did their own thing. Sure, he's still a buffed out guy wearing a furry loincloth and boots, but it's not the exact same body type. And I always really loved the design about this guy. He's so striking looking. And the fact that he comes with these accessories, I mean, look at this shield. This shield is incredible. I love the design of this thing. Um, I'm just so happy to add this Iron Mask figure to my collection. Really, really cool figure. Definitely gonna go among my other 5.5 figures that I have on the shelf. So Matt, you're the man, dude. Thanks for all your hard work and thanks for the amazing gift. Next up is a big one. Um, this one is one that I have to share here because this particular toy was a common thread throughout the entire 2023 year of toy hunting. So if you were following me on my journey through toy shows, toy stores, conventions, you know that one of the toys I was looking for was the vintage Masters of the Universe Turbodactyl. Yeah, it was one that I tried tracking down all year and it's not like I couldn't find it anywhere because I did run into it several times at stores, at conventions. The problem is it's one of those toys that has just gotten very expensive. And every time I came across it, I just wasn't quite ready to pull the trigger. I knew eventually I was gonna get it because if you remember the story or if you missed the story, I had a vintage Turbodactyl in my collection. And when I was photographing toys for the Masters of the Universe toy guide that I released, uh, this was one of my personal figures that I photographed for the book. And shortly after I finished taking photos of my personal Turbodactyl for the book, as I was moving him and some other toys back to their shelf, I dropped him and his head exploded, shattered into pieces. Turbodactyl is notoriously brittle and fragile and it was one of those things where it was so heart-wrenching when it happened, but at least he got to live on <laughs> in the form of the photos that is in the toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So if you have that book, my friends, you have the last surviving photos <laughs> of my personal vintage Turbodactyl. But this is where the story gets a happy ending because I have to give a massive shout out to longtime viewer of this channel, whose name is Rodney, because at Retro Toy Con, before the convention even started, I didn't have cameras rolling or anything. Totally surprised me by handing me a box which contained this. This is an amazing gift and it was one of those things where I immediately told him no. I said I couldn't accept it, this is crazy. But he insisted, um, this, this is amazing to me. Um, so beautiful condition vintage turbodactyl look at that he's not broken he's not broken he still feels fragile so i have to oh, so i have to be very careful with this guy um but turbodactyl is home again back in my collection and uh you know what's funny about this is just recently i did the review for the new masters of the universe origins eternia and in the background i kind of decorated uh those are the bookcases in my family room we actually took everything off of our bookcases and decorated it with he-man toys because i i needed the space for that giant playset, and so i wanted to like theme so shout out to my wife for letting me do that um but in the background i put the three dinos and turbodactyl was there and I also took some photos of them with Eternia. And there were some keen-eyed viewers who saw it and asked me, 
Oh my God, did you get that Turbodactyl? And here it is, this is the Turbodactyl. So massive shout out to Rodney, man, this is an amazing gift. You totally didn't have to do this. Um, but I'm so happy that I now have the three powers of Grayskull dinosaurs complete in my Masters of the Universe collection once again. So tie another bow on one of the things that I was looking for. Okay, so that is gonna bring me to that box that I brought up at the beginning of the video. Um, this was a bit of a surprise to me. So uh, I visited Big Redhead's Vintage Toys back in, oh gosh, what was it? July, I believe of 2023. I was in Tampa for Tampa Toy Con and uh, I was there a day early so I decided to look up local shops, which I often do, and that's when I found Big Redheads and I shot a toy hunting video there. Um, Big Redheads also, in case you didn't know, was just recently featured on a toy store near you. So if you haven't checked out the latest season of that series over on Amazon Prime, you can go check out their episode uh, on there as well. Um, so. Uh, Big Redhead himself reached out to me uh, a couple months after that video went up and just thanked me for doing it and said that he was sending something my way as a thank you. And uh, I want to make it perfectly clear that this is never anything that I expect. I don't expect to be like sent free gifts or, or whatever for this sort of thing. Um, I really do consider this to be an honor because one of the things that he said was he wanted to thank me for doing that video because it brought people into the store. And this is a common thing that I hear quite a bit from store owners after I do the toy hunting videos is that the video caused people to come in and say that they saw it on my YouTube channel. and. That to me is like, just that, that is exactly what I'm going for with these toy hunting videos. Like, obviously I love toy hunting. I love finding things to add to my collection. I love toy shopping. We all do, right? But the fact that I can also shine a light on these smaller mom and pop shops or even the smaller toy shows and help people discover these places is icing on the cake. And I'm just so happy that I can help in the small way that I can with my with my channels here. Um, so shout out to Big Redheads Vintage Toys. You didn't have to do this. I'm gonna quit blabbering now so you guys can all see what's in the box. I love this box too because they wrote on like, take a guess, what could it be? <laughs> so we're gonna open it up right now and we're gonna check it out. There you go, there's the card too, by the way. Big Redheads vintage toys you can find them on facebook and twitter and instagram definitely go check them out all right here we go we're gonna open up there's a lot of stuffing in here so this is this is cool because i'm, I'm excited to see what we've got in here specifically i can already see something i think i know what it is um but there were some things in the store that i wanted that i didn't get and i remember specifically while i was editing it I was questioning why I didn't buy one of the things I saw. I have a feeling that's what's in here. I made a, if you've watched the video, you remember I said something about that in the video. <laughs> it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. It's got his price tag on him still. Oh, the wings are down here too. Oh man, this is so cool. This is awesome. Um, if you don't know what this is, this is the bronze dragon from the LJN Advanced Dungeons and Dragons toy line, which is a line that I really started diving into collecting in 2023. Um, I picked up a lot of pieces, including the Fortress of Fangs uh, throughout the year. I saw this uh, at Big Redheads and I remember contemplating it there. And then while I was editing the video, I was really questioning why I didn't pick it up. Um, so here's the thing. So the wings, the wings are broken, which is common, but the wings are here. You can see this one right here is what snaps. So I can probably do a little bit of work to fix this up a little bit. Like I'm probably just gonna glue it to make that work. Oh, look, see, look, it's, it's totally, it's very similar to the other ride-ons in this line where it's got the spring trap door on the top, but that's so you could stick a figure's legs down in here um i mean this is just a cool looking piece like he's he's definitely got some broken wings but like 
that doesn't matter to me. I love this. And uh, this line, let me tell you, this toy line is one of those lines that I always admired when I saw it. But beginning this collection of 2023 has been one of the most exciting and most fun toy lines that I started picking up. I don't know what it is about it. There's just something so charming about this toy line. Like the Fortress of Fangs playset was like a dream playset and finally getting that in my collection was very exciting. So now picking up some of these pieces, I just picked up some others, a Toy Federation that you saw in that uh, video that just recently went up. This is amazing. Man, massive shout out to Big Red Head Vintage Toys. Again, you didn't have to do this, uh, but this is amazing. This really means a lot to me, thank you. So there you go, guys. That's uh, just a fun vintage toy haul video. I wanted to do this because, A, I wanted to thank the people that gave me these items because this all happened off camera. It wasn't like part of any of my toy hunt videos, uh, which is the other reason I wanted to do this because specifically with things like Turbodactyl, I wanted to make sure that we had closure there since that was one of the things I was hunting for all year. Uh, but I want to say it again. I love doing these toy hunts. I love visiting these toy shops and I'm gonna continue to do it. And you can watch me doing it over on my new channel at Pixel Dan Toy Hunts. There's a new episode every Saturday, which means there's a new episode right now. So go over there, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, do all those things. I know it's cliche, but I, I'm telling you it works. And I wanna thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch the main channel. Thank you for checking out the new channel. Stay hunting, find cool toys, enjoy it, man. It's a fun hobby. Until next time, my friends.